What's up guys, Greg Hot with I Like Collectibles. Back at you again with another CGC mail call. And this is a big one. Let's take a look and see what I got. First up, and this is my favorite of the day actually. This is a CGC graded 9.6 Crow number one third printing. This is pressed and cleaned by a buddy over at Spineworks Comics. So if you want to check out his work, check him out, spineworks.com. Now getting this one, I knew it was a 9.8 contender. I wanted to get it pressed, cleaned, and see if I could get to that 9.8 grade. I haven't got one of these back in a 9.8 yet. Came back a 9.6, still pretty darn happy with that. Lenny did another book for me. It was a first printing that came back a 9.4. So this will suit next, next to that very nicely. This one is not for sale. I'm keeping this one. Again, darn, so close. Couple little things, couple little imperfections on this book, I guess dragged it down to a 9.6. Still, that's okay. Awesome book. Next up, another big book. This is Batman Adventures number 12. What's special about this book is it is a newsstand copy. So it's one of those sought after books. This, the newer books get, the harder they are to find high grade newsstand because the shorter printed run they were, like the Spawn number one and this Batman number 12. Pretty cool. Came back a 9.4. I was hoping for a 9.6, 9.8 maybe, but wasn't in the cards. There's a few little imperfections. Just it's hard to know what, what you're going to get hit for on certain books. And here it is, 9.4, Batman Adventures 12. Still pretty happy with it. Next up, got another cool book. This is Marvel Age, number 38. The first appearance of He-Man in comic books. Pretty cool book, cool cover. Colors absolutely pop on this cover. It is, I think, yeah, 1986. I wanted to, I wanted to say 1985, but it's from 1986, and there it is. 9.4 grade. Still pretty good. I was hoping for about a 9.4, so pretty happy on that one. Next up, I'll hide the grade here so you can't pull it out of the sleeve, though. Start hiding the grade, so let you know what I thought it was going to be and then what it actually was. Now this is a Heir to the Empire number one. This is um, first appearance of Admiral Thrawn. And it is graded 8.0. I actually thought this was going to be about a 9.0. So I'll have to look and see what brought it down. But some of these books are really tough because the finish on the cover, um, yeah, it's tough. So... Probably overpaid for this book because I did think it was closer to a 9.0, but what can you do? Still a hot book. Probably one I'm going to hold on to. Star Wars right now have kind of cooled off. Uh, I think that they're going to come back again, though, once a few more little tidbits come out about the Star Wars universe. Next up, here's a book that's kind of cooled down recently, too, but what book has it? Uh, Venom Lethal Protector, number one. I thought this was probably going to be a 9.6. Came back a 9.4. So, can't be unhappy about that. Very clean book. This is, I actually um, got this from a collection that I bought from someone locally. And it looks so clean. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go get it graded. So, there it is. Lethal Protector number one, 9.4. Most of these books, unless I say otherwise, are going to be available on my eBay store. I'll put a link to my eBay store down below so you can have a shot at grabbing one. Uh, a lot of the time, I do put the price kind of high. But I do accept best offers, and you can message me directly and get better offers, obviously. Okay, next up, I came into a Valiant collection that has a lot of these Nintendo comics. So I figured I'd just get them graded. Um, the grades didn't turn out nearly as well as I had hoped. Uh, you'll see that as I, as I debut these. But, um, you know, at the same time, they're cool books. Valiant uh, in the early... 90s put these out as a way to try to get people to cross over people they wanted people to jump ship from marvel and dc and they wanted Mar valiant to be the number one comic in the world and it didn't work out that way but here we are there's some cool books that came of it now this is super mario brothers number two and it came back a 7.0 oof now you're going to see that uh that unfortunately is pretty much the theme with these books most of these are going to be around that grade. 
But that's okay. They're fun books. Fun books. Still definitely have value. Now this is cool. And it's not even noted on the label. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... CGC being CGC here. Um, this is a no-price variant, which is supposed to be noted on the label, so I'll have to send this book back. Um, yeah, it didn't come back a no-price variant. Um, and it came back also 7.0. But uh, there's two variants of this book. One uh, has the price right here underneath the number one, and the other has no price. This is actually a second printing, which should be depicted maybe on the label too if you don't. But um, this is the scarcer books. This is the this is the more sought after of the two. So 7.0 is pretty cool. Here's one I had done. Uh, my local comic shop, Comic Spot, had this one signed and graded for me. I didn't have time to press it, which I wish I would have. This one is signed by uh, Mr. Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman, who did this cover and story so it came back ooh so close 9.6 obviously hoping for 9.8 but 9.6 is still pretty solid grade in this book double signed pretty dope coming up are a couple books that I always submit because I have so many of them in high grade so I'm always hoping for a 9.8 in these books spoiler alert didn't happen. This was a spawn number one. Again, this is from a collection that I got. It had multiple spawns in it, and I submitted a couple of the best ones. Nine six. What do you know? And one more here. Another spawn number one that was in this collection came back a nine four. Woof. Still. So even a 9.4 grade, still a $80 book or so, so not terrible. It's not all bad. Last up, Super Mario Brothers number one. And this is the, the more sought after one um, that people look for. This came back actually the highest of all the um, Nintendo books. So I was happy about that, but came back at 7.5. And that was it from this CGC mail call. Some pretty cool books. Nothing earth-shattering or groundbreaking. I, like, again, I, some of those 9.6s I would have hoped were 9.8s. But what can you do? Let me know how you think I did. Drop a comment below. What have you gotten back from CGC recently? Anything crazy like that price variant that wasn't noted? Anything missed by CGC, CBCS, or even PGX? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, I have to take off, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have fun. Stay safe. Buy comics. Buy collectibles. Bye, guys. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. I got a lot of cool ideas. So.